What's up, everyone? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. I got a new little mini kit for you. Yeah, you guys have all heard of the Aegis, right? That OG one that was indestructible. People were throwing it off of bridges, running it over with cars, the whole nine yards. Well, Geek Vape did it again. They came out with a shrunken down version of it with a 2200 Ma internal battery. I'm talking about the Geek Vape Aegis Mini Kit. Little 80 watt banger that's dust, shock, and waterproof. Yeah. Comes with the Cerberus tank and two mesh coils. Let's not waste a lot of time because we got a lot to go over. Let's cut down low. Let me show you everything up close and personal. We'll come back on top. We're going to vape on it, chat about it, cons, pros, and we out of here. I'll see you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today, we're going to be going over the Geek Vape Aegis Mini Kit. You can see I got the camo and gunmetal. We got an 80 watt mod, 2200 ma internal battery. This is from that Aegis family of mods where it's shockproof, dustproof, waterproof. This one is a little beast, that's for sure, man. Quick tour around the box. On the back, I kind of like the way they did this kit, right? They gave you a box, right, like this, that you open up. And then inside the box, you get two other boxes, which is kind of neat, right? One with the Aegis Mini and the other with the Cerberus Super Mesh Tank. All right, let's take a look at the tank real quick first. Okay. There it is right there. Look at that. Nice little mesh coil tank. Gonna use my new My V Pro prop. Check that out, man. I love that. I can put it on deck now. Awesome job with that, My V Pro. By the way, they're the ones that sent me this for review. Inside the tank box, you get another little box. And inside that, you get a ton of stuff. Let's see what we got here. Let's see everything in here. We have some silica gel. We have a spare straight glass. It comes pre-installed with the bubble. You have a spare coil, which we'll get to in a moment. It's the same exact coil I already have installed in there. And a ton of spare O-rings. Underneath the foam insert, we have a Cerberus Super Mesh Tank Owner's Manual. Typical geek vape stuff. Done really nice. You also get your little Miss America envelope here, right? Open it up. Inside the envelope, we have a Geek Vape warranty card. And we have a Geek Vape warning card. All right. Moving on to the coil. This is the mesh coil that you get with the tank. You get two of these. This one is good for 30 to 45 watts with a best of rating from 30 to 40 watts. I'd say that's pretty accurate. I've been running this right at around 38, 40 watts. And I do get a nice flavorful vape off of it. But it is on the cool side. So just remember that. If you're not into cool vapes, you're probably going to want to run something a little hotter, which is definitely going to affect your battery life on an 80-watt mod. But again, you get two of these. Here is the tank itself. You can see you got some Cerberus branding over there. Nice big drip tip over here. They got that little platform going on, but your other goons will fit fine in there. No problem. You just got to make sure you get something that doesn't overhang on the platform. Top fill, half a twist. Check that out, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Love that. Nice, decent-sized fill ports. I wish they were a little wider, but needle nose bottles will do fine. Drippers can give you, you know, glass drippers will give you a little bit of a problem. But check this out, man. I mean, the machining on this thing is just gorgeous. Watch this. It's on right now, right? It's on like that little half a twist, bang, you're all sealed up and ready to vape. I like that, man. I really do. Bottom airflow tank with some nice little, you know, raised parts here so you can get a grip on it. It's not knurling, but definitely gives you a nice grip. Stoppers on both ends of the AFC. Whatever you adjust on one happens on the other, of course. On the bottom, we have some Cerberus branding as well as a serial number and designed by Geek Vape. That is a stainless steel 510 connection right there, right? You see that with the insulator ring around it and stainless steel threading around that. Really nice tank. Been enjoying it. Comfortable drip tip. Definitely one of the better under 50 watt mesh tanks out there. 
The only problem with it is it's a cool vape. Let's move on to the mod. Here's the packaging for the mod. All right, you can see. Had a little bit of problem getting the cellophane off over there. It kind of stuck, but whatever. On the back there, we got a built-in 2200 mAh internal battery. There's some stuff there. If you want to pause it and read it, feel free to. Let's open this up. Let me show you what you get with the mod. Check that out, man. That not gorgeous or what? Let's do a quick tour around it. That's the gunmetal and camo, and she is a beaut. Look at that. Let's put that on deck for a second. Let's go over what's in the rest of the box. In the little black box on the side, you get a spare plug that goes over your USB port. That's kind of cool with a spare screw. Definitely appreciate that. You get a flat wire, micro USB wire for charging and updates. Underneath the foam insert, you get a Geek Vape Aegis Mini Mod Owner's Manual. We'll file that to the side. You get another little Miss America envelope here. Basically the same thing. Warranty card. You get a little Aegis Mini kind of card here that shows you the different colors. Also shows you the different colors of the Alpha Tank. And you also get another warning card. Let's get into the mod. We're going to start off on top as usual. We have a gold-plated spring-loaded 510, which I would call a very stiff and short throw. Star screws holding everything in place. Stainless steel plate around that. Nice clicky buttons. Five clicks on, turns the menu system on. We'll get to that in a minute. See this rubberized thing here? See, man, like when I wiped it down with a paper towel... This thing's like a lint magnet, man. It, I mean, I know there's nothing you can do about it, and technically you can just throw it under the faucet and wash it, but it just gets annoying after a day's use that happens. You see there's some Aegis branding, some gunmetal over here, some nice camo over here. Nice form factor, man. Feels great in the hand. Basically a shrunken down version of the OG Aegis with a... With, the, with an internal battery. That's really what it is. Love these this rubber part over here. You got some venting. Right here is where you will, will uh, insert your micro USB port for charging and updates. Not happy that they put this on the bottom. I think there was plenty of real estate where you could have put this thing on the side somewhere, guys. I mean, I don't like laying my mod down when I got to charge it. That's kind of ridiculous. You know, you should have put it on the side somewhere, anywhere else but the bottom. That's absolutely the worst place you could put it. Let's get into the screen and the menu. All right, you can see right here, power. That's your wattage. That's your battery life, coil, amps, volts, and pumps. When you put your atomizer on, it asks you if it's a new coil or old. Hit plus to say new. And you can see I got the coil in there. It's ohming out at 0.3 ohms. Want to go through the menu system, three clicks, see the power light, light up right there. Now I can stroll through TCNI, TCSS, TCTI, TCTCR. This is your curve mode, and this is your bypass mode. All right, if I want to adjust my coil, I can do it over there. Hit it again, I can clear my puffs. If I go into temperature control mode, temperature stainless steel, I can adjust my coil there. Hit the button. Now here I can adjust my wattage up or down in TC mode. And I can clear my puffs again. Hit the hold the power button to get out of that menu. And now you can vape in TC mode. I can't vape in TC mode with this tank because it's not a TC coil. But that's just in case you want to run a TC atomizer on it. Hold the plus and minus button together. See that little lock up here? That will lock the mod. You cannot adjust your wattage, but it will fire. Hold it again to unlock it, and the lock disappears. To adjust the brightness of the screen, hold the minus or plus button with the fire button, depending on which direction you want to go. You want to go up, hold the plus button, and now you adjusted your screen brightness. And that's it, folks. That's the whole menu system. Has some really nice clicky buttons. Super clicky, in fact. All the buttons are. They did a great job on the buttons with this one. Let me give you one last look at it all put together. Look at that, man. Just gorgeous, nice little stealthy kit, internal battery mod, but a nice little form factor. Let's cut back on top. Let's talk about it. Let's vape on it. Cons, pros, 
and then we're out of here. I'm going to see you back on top. All right, everyone. We're back on top with the Geek Vape Aegis Mini Kit. I got to tell you, man, I'm loving this little kit. Easily my favorite internal battery mod of 2018. That's how much I like it. It's my favorite up to this point. It comes in green, black, blue, camo, and red. I'm rocking the camo edition. Best lower wattage mesh coil I've ever tried at the moment. I got to say that. This Cerberus tank with that under 45 watt coil, it's just got fantastic flavor. It's a little too cool for me as far as the temperature of the vape goes, but the flavor on it is absolutely banging. If you want something a little hotter, get the other coils for it. That's all. You're just going to suffer battery life wise, but otherwise, man, it's a great tank, really nicely machined with awesome flavor. Let's get into it. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con is going to be, it is an internal battery mod. And you know what I say in all my internal battery reviews. Eventually, it's going to be a throwaway piece. You're going to cycle through that battery. It ain't going to work anymore. And you're going to have to chuck it. So that's a con. But it's a con that you're going into knowing about. So just be aware of that. That's all. Vape is a little too cool for me. Like I said, I would have liked a hotter coil. But I understand why they went with that coil. But I'll give them a con for that. 2200 ma battery. I wish it was a little bigger. I wish it was at least 3000 ma. It's, you know, it, it'll get you through most of the day for the average vapor, but you're definitely going to have to charge it towards the end of the day. The battery life on it is not the greatest. I mean, I've been rocking it at 40 watts. And like I said, you know, towards the end of the day, I definitely got to charge it. So we're going to give it a con for that. The charge port on the bottom of the mod, that's a big con, Geek Vape. You guys know better than that. I don't like laying my mod down when I got when I got to charge it. That's ridiculous. You had plenty of real estate on this. You could have put that charge port anywhere else. Just like the OG Aegis, the screen cover for this scratches easily. So we're going to give it a con for that. Let's get into the pros though, because there's plenty of them. First pro is going to be the power to size ratio. I mean, look at that little guy. You know, considering it's shockproof, waterproof, and dustproof, for this little thing to pump out 80 watts, that's kind of cool. I got to give him a pro for that. Next is going to be the easy menu system. The menu system on this thing, super simple, very intuitive, pro. Nice screen layout, we'll give them a pro for that. Great build quality, pro. Great tank. I like this tank, we're going to give it a pro for that. Also, when it comes to the build quality, this thing's tough as nails, just like the OG Aegis. You can toss it, you can throw it, you know, you can dunk it in water. You're good to go with this thing. This thing is perfect for like plumbers and contractors and stuff like that. Want to keep something in their pocket that's indestructible? This is the way to go, all right? It's got nice flavor. We'll give them a pro for that. Charges real fast at two amps. I have had no problem charging this thing up. Charges very quickly. We'll give them a pro for that. Drop, dust, and waterproof. We'll give them a pro on that. Great form factor. Feels awesome in the hand. I love it. I'm giving them a pro for that. It's got nice performance. That's a pro. Does decent TC. The TC on this isn't bad. We'll give them a pro for that. Works great with a single coil mouth to lung ad addy. You put a mouth to lung addy on here at a lower wattage, you're going to get great battery life and you'll get a nice vape. So we'll give them a pro on that. Fires fast. That's a pro. I'm giving them a pro on the looks. I'm digging that camo. That's a pro. And I love the buttons on this thing. The buttons on this thing are super clicky and responsive. That's a pro. It's a great kit for a newbie that doesn't want to be bothered with the whole battery thing. All right. You know, people, some people just want to vape. They don't want to know what 18650 to buy, what 2700 to buy. They just want to take a mod, turn it on, put a tank in it, fill it, and vape on it. For that type of vapor, this is a great kit. The hobbyist might not be too impressed with it, but for the casual vapor, you're definitely going to appreciate the simplicity of this kit because really, all you got to do is buy juice and you're vaping. And that's all I got for you guys on the Geek Vape Aegis Mini Kit. All right, make sure you check us out at our forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. Definitely check out the link down below. Big thanks to MyVPro for sending this to me for review. We're going to have a link to their store down below. If you like this review and you want to go buy it, do us a favor and support MyVPro. Go over there and pick it up. They're a great vendor. 
And hey, man, if you like this video, you know what time it is. Give us that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button so you know every time we drop a new review, we're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.